Cam got his thing going like it's all I'm it's mad as all fuck good. that Cam ain't in the league no more. I'm mad. Nah, he's too old. Cam, he's too old. <laughs> he's too old. I pushed back. I don't know if you saw the episode with Cam. Like he's he's too old and he's too um he can't just hide. Cam can't hide because of his personality. You know what? You know what Cam reminds me of? Uh, fellowship. Josh Allen. Fellowship. The fellowship. Bro, go a, to it's Sunday. A, it's a nice looking Bruh, place. Go there Sunday. Brunch is stupid. I, I feel like Cam, you know, Josh Allen scares me because of Cam. Because what i seen with Cam, I was a huge, huge, huge Cam Newton fan. Yeah. And you've seen that, you know, shoulders start taking a beat. And I feel like that's what Josh Allen is doing. He's a big running quarterback, mm. and he takes the beat, and... and Josh Allen, they don't sit Josh Allen down. When he's injured, he's like, nah, I'm playing through this injury. I'm playing through this injury. Sometimes it's like, all right, you're doing – that's what that was Brett Favre. Yeah. You know, Brett Favre's like, I'm going to play with the broken finger. That was Kobe Bryant. It's I'm going to play with – you know up, what I mean? It's funny you bring up Favre because that was a comparison I had on Inside the NFL that uh, <laughs> that I, I, I was – I'm going to get off, so I'll say it here, but I'm going to get off. Josh Allen leads the, leads the NFL in touchdown passes right mm-hmm. now. But also, he's one yeah, of the top in turnovers. There. Those years that Brett Favre was throwing 32, 35 touchdowns, Brett was throwing 20 interceptions because <laughs> he's a gunslinger. I'm going to just shoot. I'm going to shoot. I'm going to let it go. And that's what – Josh got a lot of Brett Favre in him, but Brett Favre's a Hall, a hall of Famer. Josh is going to go. Josh and what Joe Brady has done for Josh – is let told him to run if you want to run. I think Ken Dorsey was stopping him from running. Yeah. So Joe Brady said, "Listen, if you can't throw that ball in two three seconds, take off, big man. Your ass is you runs a four four and you six six. Take, take off, off and go man. get it happening. Yeah, you saw on. it against the Eagles, and he they're throwing a lot of outs. I think I talked about earlier. He's throwing a lot of outside routes because once you throw the once you throw deep across the middle, it's a lot of motherfuckers back there running around and they're very talented. Scary. If you throw it on the outside, you're just dealing with one cornerback." So he's throwing all out routes and he's running the ball down the middle, and that's what Joe Brady did to him. Yeah. And it's genius what he's doing because he's 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 scheming it up where Josh Allen can't make mistakes. And that's a big boy. Smart. Josh that is, is a. Big, I love Josh. Yeah, yeah. I, and being a Dolphin fan, I love Tua, Tyreek, what they're doing and all. And I think the Dolphins will win the AFC East easily. Right. But I I I, I, think I respect AFC. good football. I love good football. I just want to watch good football, and Josh Allen is a monster. He's a top five quarterback right now. Okay, I like that. I'll go top <laughs> one. But, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, I'm going top, top one. Top one. So the, the, the Chiefs ain't in the league. I'll, no, I'll say this. I'll the say Chiefs this. ain't in the league. I'll say this. I think, this is my opinion, I think that if uh, Andy Reid got a hold of a Josh Allen, watch out. <laughs> Ooh. If Andy <laughs> Reid got a quarterback that could run like Donovan McNabb, Donovan McNabb but throw but like he, Josh Allen. But he had Michael Vick. He didn't have Cam Newton with Cam, with an arm like and and Cam is my ace. Yeah. I love Cam like I said and Cam don't don't take my uh exclusive upstairs privileges away at fellowship. <laughs> at fellowship. <laughs> but jo- Josh Allen is Josh Allen is a more talented passer than Cam was. That, that's what I'm saying. So yeah. you got a you got the type of runner that Cam was. Obviously, Cam had probably better feet than than uh, Josh Allen. <laughs> oh yeah, Cam. But was. Um, <laughs> but Josh Allen runs like that. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. Big and, and strong. And, can't you and know he one guy's not similar to a Pat Mahomes. He really does. He does not throw like Patrick Mahomes. My, my that's your that's your that's your that's, that's, that's seven, that's that's seven the yard, seventy yards uh, down the field. Nope. I will I will agree with you when you're right. <laughs> Pat and Mahomes, I call bullshit when you're yeah, wrong. Pat Mahomes got the baseball is. throw, Listen. right? Pat Mahomes got the baseball throw. Like he side Pat off. Mahomes does the not even just the sidearm. I don't even know if you could call it the sidearm. Sometimes this dude throws the goddamn ball. Patrick you Mahomes. You know what I mean? Like he's he's sitting here like this. Is it, I, I'll give him the that. most no talented passer. That you've in the last seen. 30, 40 years of football. Really? Yeah. I like yeah. that. Even like Brady. Brady's the GOAT. Brady's so smart. But Brady Brady wasn't. He didn't have the arm talent to Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes. Is, we talking about. Yeah. To be honest, not even being. We in Miami. Patrick Mahomes, like Dan Marino shit. Joe Montana stuff. Style. Yeah. Like Patrick Mahomes hmm. is special. I'd still take Josh Allen, but congratulations <laughs> to you for taking back. He ain't gonna, he, you know what I mean? I don't even like the nah. damn Chiefs, but <laughs> yeah, 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 nah. I'm just saying, give, I'm just give, me, give me Andy Reid and Josh oh, Allen I'm over t- Andy Reid and Pat Mahomes. <sighs> for me. <laughs> this is a Buffalo yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, Super nah. Buffalo. You, blood. Yeah, that's yeah. Right, Pat, you call yeah. it Buffalo all you want. I, right? And I said, I said, Josh Allen top five. Do you, do you think, you know, I, I'm, I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm saying for me. Yeah. Do, you, do you think that Josh Allen would be better if he had Andy Reid? Yeah. 
Oh no, everybody. We saw it when them. Josh Allen was shit this first couple years. Mm -hmm. And then Brian Dayball, who yeah. went to the Giants, yeah. they came in. Yeah, no. You like the coaching stuff. Fuck with Tua. We saw yeah. it with Tua. When he Chan Gailey was his offensive coordinator. Chan Gailey is 97 years old. <laughs> Remember when Chan Gailey was, known was an as offensive, offensive, offensive coordinator? Mind, yeah. He's not an offensive man. He's not never mind. He has Alzheimer's. <laughs> Like, and then you see old. you see Mike McDaniel get Tua and that talent, and now you're seeing Tua be one of the best quarterbacks. Absolutely, Tyree, yeah. you know Tyree's yeah. gonna break two thousand yards this year. Tyree but next. the coaching, do, the coaching does help. So to your point, and I'm you know just you know being uh, bullshit, being facetious. Josh Allen would be better with Andy Reid, but Josh Allen would not be better than Patrick Mahomes with Andy Reid. Okay. Because everybody's entitled to their own opinion, uh, I'm bro. It is. Yeah. Yeah. You played in the league, I didn't. <laughs> You know Tua, what I mean? Tua's, but I'm not gonna sit like you said Tua's to me. Good. Like like you said to me, you know, you ain't you ain't wanna fight Myers Sean Lynch. Yes the fuck I do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> You gotta remember who you, you, know, you know what I mean? I'm not about to sit here and shut the fuck up. You ain't wanna you yeah. ain't wanna see Sean. Hey, hey Sean Patty. was a big, strong bastard now. Oh, oh no, man. I seen him, man. I yeah, know. You don't wanna see I, Sean. I was just saying I was ready for the ass whooping, all right? That's oh, okay. I was prepared. You know Marshawn, I, mean? I don't like, got I'm, no beef, bro. I am nah, trained, Beast Mode is one of the best. No beef. Beast Mode is one of the greatest personalities ever. He shot at your lady? Yeah. That's what she said. I believe <laughs> her. All right, I believe her. Um, she wanted you to get your ass whooped. That's what it was. Congratulations. <laughs> she did. She definitely did. Uh, she said, somebody I, grab my ass. Who did it? She yeah. 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 Him. Yeah. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, 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 yeah. That guy with the Skittles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. With the braids. But, with I, the but braids. I tell you what, no doubt about it, uh, Marshawn Lynch is, I think, in my opinion, one of the greatest fucking athletes ever. His That's entire nice. story has mm -hmm. been like A1. His show? Are you kidding me? Yeah. So that's how you milk him right there? You know what I mean? Like, the, yo, his, he's, he's. Mm. Marshawn Lynch is A1. I play some bad running back. He's top. Um, yeah, he's A1. Yeah, LaDainian yeah. Tomlinson. Mm. Come AP. On. AP was a monster. Sean was a monster. You were out there when Jamal Lewis was out there, right? Jamal was old when I got in. Okay. Jamal could still play, yeah. but he wasn't. He wasn't 2,000 yards, Jamal. Um, I was there for CJ2K. We had Edge up here. Edge was a beast. Yeah. And, yeah, and, Ricky and Williams up here. Yeah, speaking of the Dolphins. I played Rick and Ronnie in that Wildcat. Yeah, I had to hit them two bitches every single day. In practice, right? <laughs> Rick and Ronnie were hell. Trouble. But, uh, yeah, now, me. Sean, I would say Ladanian's probably the best. That 06, when he set the yeah. rushing record, Ladanian's the best thing I've seen out the backfield of my life. Because <laughs> yeah, he, he was a little. A lot of people don't talk about Ladanian was a that boy monster. Was a beast, yeah. Danny had 26 touchdowns that year, 26 rushing touchdowns, 06. We played him out there in San Diego. And Zach Thomas, Zach Thomas didn't say names. He never said a name. Okay. He'd always say numbers. So, like, you play, oh, wow. you know, you play uh, Brady, and he'd be like, you know, 12, 12 is going to do this, 12 is going to check. He'd always speak about his numbers. He, like, his yeah. thing was all numbers. Like, Zach, Zach's almost like Rain Man. Wow. Zach Thomas almost That's like scary, Rain That's scary, though. I ain't going to lie. And it was all numbers. Eight, Zach eight. Thomas was a wild Number. boy, Bro, man. Zach could play. Yeah. Eight, eight crowd, 87. If he's off the ball, they're running it. If 86 is off the ball, they're passing it. Like, he mm -hmm. all his whole thing, mind was numbers. Math. So, a whole season with him, 05, my rookie year. Come back, 06. We go out to San Diego to play the Danian and Phillip Rivers and them in San Diego. And it's pregame, and uh, the, the offense gets the ball first. And Zach's sitting there, and Zach looks down the bench. He says, CC, I said, what up? He said, the Dana is a monster. And it's the first time I heard him say a guy's you ready? Yeah. government yeah. name. Hey, oh, and it, it <laughs> almost shook me because I was like, did you just say a yeah, man's wait, government wait, wait. name? <laughs> and then probably about the third play, they ran a power, and I hit the Dana <laughs> at the goal line and ended up being second and two. That bitch drug my big ass for eight yards. <laughs> damn. I was like, God, yeah. damn, LT was good. LT was so strong, so fast, so big. So, yeah, it's funny. And, and all them dudes, Adrian Peterson that year was a monster. Some of them running backs were stupid. But the the most respect I have for a running back, just playing them, is the Damian Thomason. That's fair. Right. Yeah. That's a great story right there. Yeah. So, then, speaking about running backs, <laughs> you told us that you had something about OJ. Hey, it's a funny story, man. The original juice. So we went to, um, and this is another one, Ronnie Brown. 
Ronnie Brown is my ace. Call him Black. He's my. We got drafted. He went first round, 05. I went third round, and that's my that's my ace to this day. Got a birthday party coming this week, and he's coming down with his family. His nice. kids are friends with my kids. That's my dude. Our wives are friends, and uh, so me and Ronnie go to the rookie. There's like a rookie uh, in New York. You sign autographs at the rookie symposium. The, no, it's not a rookie symposium. It's like a um, what's some damn auto uh, Lear or whatever. One one of them little card shows, whatever. So they come oh, and you, you literally sit um, and you just sign thousands of cards. You sit there for a day, they give you like twenty thousand dollars, and you just sit and damn near sign twenty thousand cards. Cool. Holy shit! So me and Ronnie fly because I was the um, he was offensive guy, I was the defensive guy. We were both the uh, you know Dolphins rookies and all. So we go to New York. So we go up there, we sign autographs. <laughs> we go back to the airport. So we're sitting at EWR, about to fly back to Miami. The flight's delayed to go to Miami. So everybody's like, oh, so everybody's walking away. They're like, oh, you know, we're moving the gate. OJ Simpson's there. Of course. So OJ has like three of his buddies with him. So OJ Simpson's there. So we both look and we're like, damn, that's OJ Simpson. Was he running through the airport like the Hertz commercial? He wasn't running. (laughs) But he does that. You know, the joke is he has a big ass head. That bitch has a big ass head. (laughs) That's the one thing he turned around. I was like, this man. Gotta be him. (laughs) His face is like a. A cartoon character, <laughs> like Stewie, the bobblehead. <laughs> yeah, he's but sorry, then, okay. so we go. So, so now everybody. So it's a restaurant. It's like a little bullshit restaurant there. So now, when they delay the flight, everybody tries to pour into the restaurant. Mm-hmm. So we were kind of in the back. So we got a we got a seat in the restaurant, and then we have the little table. So OJ and his buddies walk in. So they kind of connected all the tables. So everybody just kind of had to sit together. Mm-hmm. So the ladies bring the the um, the cutlery out. So the ladies come and start setting the cutlery down. Man, they sit there, got their cutlery down next to OJ. One of his motherfucking buddies grabbed the knife and slid it down the table. Oh, no. I fell out laughing. <laughs> but people were so uncomfortable, like, they could we laugh yeah, at that? No, no. Man, okay? when, they, when they put that knife next to OJ, his buddy grabbed that knife and slid it down the table, bitch, I fell out laughing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ron, shout out to his home. Ronnie though. sitting next to me, hit me like, shut up, oh, man, man. man. This old ass nigga ain't gonna catch me. I'm gonna laugh at this joke. Yeah, I got yeah. something for you, OJ. <laughs> he came uh, at you with Russell Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you ain't catching, he came at him with the Bronco. You feel me? <laughs> don't don't. Yeah. <laughs> Bars. Oh, yep. Man. But OJ, then I <laughs> saw him. I met him again at a uh, at down here somewhere. Yeah, mm-hmm. cool dude. Yeah, I don't, I don't right know here. if he killed nobody or not, but hell. <laughs> he down in the right here. I mean, you'll catch him playing golf on it any day, so. Yeah. yeah right, he down yeah. in the round here. So I met him. And then. Uh, That's, yeah, That's a man. Buffalo Bill right there, you know what I'm saying? So You, you know. want to. i give you one. Uh, Bruce, you love Bruce Smith? Oh, yeah. Bruce Smith. I'll give you a story about Bruce Smith. Bruce Smith, I was in, where were we at? Crowbar? When Bruce stole all the liquor? <laughs> stole? <laughs> So we in Crowbar, and people, you know, they know who I, you know, people people know me. I'm loud and shit talking Shirt off. Shirt off. So, you know, <laughs> from the day now. So we in the club, right? So we in Crowbar. Is Crowbar still there? Oh, they, they probably changed, that name, they probably so changed probably the name. So we in Crowbar. Me and my wife, it was years ago. We in Crowbar. We got a big section. We got a couple friends there. And then the manager comes up, and he's like, hey, um, <laughs> Bruce, uh, Bruce, and he just they, people assume all football players are fucking friends for yeah, some reason. Yeah, like, hey, your friend Bruce is uh, outside. Alumni. I'm like, I don't know no Bruce. <laughs> he was like, oh, uh, so then he came back like Bruce Smith. You know Bruce? I was like, shit, yeah, I know Bruce Smith. Like he's a monster. Like I love Bruce Smith. I was like, yes, <laughs> Bruce wants a table, but there's no more tables left. It was late. It was like one thirty in the morning. It was like, uh, can he come sit he with come you? Because it's just it. me, my wife, and like two or three other people. We had a nice size table. I was like, yeah, man, Bruce, come sit with us. <laughs> <laughs> so Bruce walks in with 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 uh like two two three friends, sit down, <laughs> get four shots of tequila. I had a bottle of tequila, four shots of tequila, and then gets four cups of tequila. Bottle gone. <laughs> drink the shot, drink the liquor, and haul ass. I was like, damn, Bruce Smith just came and stole my whole goddamn bottle. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I was like, "Damn, Bruce!" And went up, gave him that when he got in. Like, man, I appreciate it. Yeah, then Bruce McGuire. I saw him later at a Jason Taylor event. I actually told him about it, so if he hears this, he's gonna laugh. Yeah, he owe you. But I was like, bit. "Damn, Bruce, man, you came in, drank my whole goddamn bottle of tequila, and hit it." Yeah, my Bruce, bad, my bad, my bad, brother, my bad, young blood. Yeah, so 
Yeah, so you're he's got, he's got Bruce, funny, Bruce got an interesting voice for a motherfucker named Bruce too. Bruce is a bad man though. Yeah, he's definitely a bad man, but he got that voice. Which, like what? It just doesn't sound like a Bruce. <laughs> What's a Bruce sound like? I mean, you know, Bruce. You know what I mean? <laughs> he's 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 got he's got a very uh, feminine voice. Okay. Yeah. I was waiting for you to. He hear got that. a lot because we saw a lighter voice. We saw okay. we saw a lot of the commercials in Buffalo and shit, and like when it was Bruce Smith and he, he and he finally got to the screen. You know what I mean? It was like, oh, that's Bruce. Yeah, I mean, Super, Bowl, <laughs> Super Bowl, Bruce. Yeah, Bruce was a bad man. Yeah. Uh-huh. But you—that's the last thing you want a motherfucker like that talking to you. It's like, hey, yeah, you know what I mean? You don't sleep. want that. This is just—it's kind of a little nerve wracking. Don't sleep. You know what I mean? That like, and he—that's a big boy right there, Reggie White, Bruce Smith, those tomatoes. Mm-hmm. Those were them guys. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like Michael Strahan. Yep, that was my childhood. Yeah. yeah. I, w- I wanted to ask you, um, originally, you know, we were talking about who made me and all that stuff. You initially had a start in broadcasting prior to this whole podcast thing, right? With, with um, I had a radio show for uh, 13 years, yeah. I've been doing radio 13 years. Uh-huh. South Florida, I was... Um, Adam... Adam Cooperstein. He's, Adam Cooperstein. Uh, he's now in New York on uh, NBC6 New York. He blew up. He's very, very talented at his uh, at, at media. But yeah, I've been in radio now for over thirteen years. Wow. Do, yeah. y'all, do y'all keep in contact? Yeah, I still talk to Coop. I'm sure he, he see what you're doing now, and he's like, "Man, I remember when you first came to radio, and you know, had, it, had to be on the mic publicly." Type. It's funny because now people see all I'm doing, and they're always like, uh, you know, they and they knew it because how much I talked. So the oh, shit started. Uh, the media shit started. So like, what made me? Yeah, but the media shit started where. It was like my fourth or fifth year, and I used to just talk shit in the locker room, just make fun of everybody. The the, the media guys come in. Um, I always joke with David David J. Neal. I don't know if y'all know him. He works down here named David J. Neal, but he was always wearing these little short-ass shirts, little dashikis, and have his, his, his belly button out. Oh, like a Zeke Elliott. Yeah. And I used to fuck with him, and I'd be like, man, you got that goddamn little short-ass dashiki on, and all. so he used to laugh. So the media got a hold of, like, like knowing that I just, like, I'm just entertaining. So then they asked the Dolphins. They were like, hey, I think it was NBC. I think it was Channel 6. And they were like, hey, as we play the credits, can we just record you sit in your locker and make fun of people? <laughs> and we'll edit it, you know, make sure the Dolphins approve it, and we'll just play it as the in, at the end of the news every night. That BTS. That, that and the that. BTS, we talked about that shit earlier. Mm-hmm. So I was like, and the Dolphins approved, and I was like, yeah, cool. So I just sat and messed with people. Paul Soley, I was sitting next to me. He was a big-ass uh, Polynesian, <laughs> so I used to fuck with him all the time. And so they would just play, like, they would just record me, like, five, ten minutes and just play it back at the end of the news. And so that turned into a Friday night radio show on 560 WQAM down here. Mm-hmm. And then. AM. WQAM, That's, yeah. That was big. That was big. And then that turned into a. Monday night, the next year, a Monday night and a Friday night show down here. And I have no broadcasting degree, no communication degree. I just yeah. could talk. I'm like, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, if people ask me, that, do you have a communication get degree? I was like, commu- a, a degree to talk to humans? Like, bitch, I've been talking to humans my whole life. <laughs> I wish I knew about that degree. Yeah, I, knew, yeah. Yeah, I wish they <laughs> told me I needed a degree to talk. So then that's where it started. So when I was actually playing, I was already on 560 QAM down here. And then when I retired, Steve Goldstein took the job, the TV job for the Panthers, and Coop, it was Coop and Goldie. And then he took the Panthers job, and they needed somebody, somebody to fill in. And they were like, hey, would you jump on with Coop? And I was like, yeah, I jump on. Jumped on, and shit, 13 years later, now I'm, you know, we're the number one, number one South Florida sports show, man. Hawk it, Hawk it, yeah, Hawk, 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 Hawk 560 WQA. Don't leave me over here. Don't leave me Come hanging, goddammit. Yeah, man, but it's just, it, it is all like, uh, yeah, I'm quoting Jay Z a lot. When he was like, um, "That's a good person to quote." But when he was like, "My, you know, my, 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 my dudes are taking chances." Uh, you know, it's one of them songs. Where he's like, "You know, y'all are taking advances. My dudes are taking chances." Uh, like that's the whole thing. Like I never say no to an opportunity. We'll figure that shit out on the back end. Yeah, you know. So that's that's all I did with radio, with TV, with Inside the NFL, with podcasts, with everything. It's like, oh, it's an opportunity. Well, shit, let's ride and see what happens. And then yeah. it always, you know, it just. That pivot. That I pivot. just bring, you know, yeah, you I think like I said, it's just. I, yeah. is, is there, okay, but is, okay, so people put you in a box. 